In the West, secularism now uh, tends to be, I would say, an ideology, mm. and not just a set of rules. Now, uh, uh, separation of church and state uh, is just a way uh, to fix the rules of the game, but it doesn't mean anything about religion. Separation of church and state means precisely that the state has nothing to say about religion. The problem is that now uh, the states, uh, uh, whatever you know, uh, their dif uh, differences and uh, political origin and so, they want to control religion. And this is specifically true at a time where the new religion coming you know, into uh, the uh, European space is Islam. Uh, and apparently Islam is not following the rules, you know. Or uh, we uh, suspect that uh, uh, Muslim people have a hidden agenda of political control and things like that. Uh, so uh, the debate on Islam tends now to be a debate on theology. What does the Quran uh, say? Uh, uh, is Islam compatible with uh, democracy, feminism, homosexuality, what you want, you know? Uh, but for me, it's not an issue. First, it's an impossible debate. A secular state cannot discuss about uh, uh, the theological corpus of any religion. No. Uh, it's part of our definition of secularism. Mm. Secondly, it has nothing to do with the actors. Uh, the believers don't look, in fact, you know, uh, towards theologians to know how they should do. They just do. They just do it. You know. And it's specifically true in Islam, where you don't have a pope, you don't have a clergy. So local Muslims, Muslims who are living in Europe now, they tend, you know, to uh, invent their own rules of the game, according a very wide array uh, of uh, uh, possibilities. Now, we have liberals, we have mainstream, we have conservative, we have fundamentalist, uh, whatever you want. You know. We have even people who call themselves atheist Muslims. Uh, uh, so uh, what we see is uh, makeshift adaptations of uh, religious markers to uh, uh, very different cultural contexts, and it works. You know. uh, the born again Muslims don't care about traditional Muslim cultures. They're not trying to import traditional Muslim culture. They are just trying to connect religious markers to the new society. For instance, when they uh, go to business, they don't open a traditional Muslim restaurant, uh, uh, Berber couscous or uh, uh, Ottoman cuisine. What they do is to open a fast food, the McDonald's uh, uh, type of fast food, but halal fast food. So they connect a religious marker which has been disconnected from the traditional Muslim cultures, they connect it to a Western culture or to a Western lack of culture. That's another uh, story. Mm. Uh, and what we see now is a disconnect between religious markers and cultural markers. And we have flexible, variable, uh, soft you know, reconnections of religious markers with cultural markers. And it works. You know. So that way, uh, Islam is being uh, integrated in the West, but not as a different culture, but on the contrary, as a religion, as just a religion. It could be a liberal religion, which is really is not, by the way. It could be a conservative traditional religion. It could be a fundamentalist religion. It doesn't matter. Islam is integrated as a religion. The same way that Catholicism is a religion. You know. Judaism is a religion. And so uh, uh, we are confronted with uh, uh, the uh, uh, self-assertion of faith communities uh, which don't care about multiculturalism. Multiculturalism is a Western invention to deal with Islam, but it doesn't work. You know. The born-again Muslims are not trying to be uh, recognized, to be accepted, you know, as uh, uh, something different culturally. They want to be accepted as believers, as a faith community. They want Islam to be recognized as a religion. So for me, uh, uh, the way now to deal with that is just to give up about multiculturalism, which doesn't work for the second and third generations, and on the contrary, 
to recognize Islam as a religion on the same uh, 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 foot than uh, Christianity and Judaism. It's no need now to look for a European or Western model. Each country has to recognize Islam on the same foot than the other religions. So uh, the idea is not to borrow uh, uh, foreign or external uh, models of dealing with a new religion. We just have to integrate Islam uh, in the existing framework. We should have a more open view of uh, relations between states, politics, public sphere and religion. Because in fact, our present views have been shaped by our history. But this history is gone. We, uh, it has turned into a political culture. I think it's time to have a more relaxed approach to religion, precisely because uh, uh, the new religious movements are first of all the expression of an individual beliefs and not of uh, institutions. And the new faith communities are based on a personal, free and individual choice and are not the expression of a, a, a political community as such.